Skadoosh, skadoosh. Welcome back, my ninjas. Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming here. Pretty cool. We got two guilds of Ravnica pre-release kits. We're going to crack open Boros and Golgari. Oh, yes. The hype is real. Before we get into that real quick, I'm going to give away this Omni Spell Adept. Remember, for three, you may cast an instant or sorcery card from your hand without paying its mana cost. On the flip side, Apex of Power, big old 10 drop, exile the top seven cards of your library until end of turn. You may cast nine land cards, exile this way. If a spell was cast from your hand, add 10 mana of any, any one color. Both of these, this nice little combo is going to go out to one person. Uh, in order to be eligible, all you got to do is like, share this video, be subscribed to the channel, and comment. What is your favorite guild? What is your favorite guild? That's it. That's all I want to know. Well, what's your favorite guild? First things first, baby. Let's get into cracking open some Golgari. How is everyone doing? This should be fun. This should be fun diddly undone. Uh, slide this puppy out. Skid ink. So this is what we get. Life, death, rebirth. Noise. What is inside of these? Looks like we got the promo chilling right there. Anything else? Oh, I like that spin down. Give me a five. A six. I didn't want a six. I was close though. Get a load of that new spin down. That looks pretty cool, huh? That looks sweet. There we go. Focus is on. Nice spin down. All right. I'm not going to see what this is. I'm going to try not to see it. I already saw it. What is that? Oh, there it is. Hatchery Spider, and then a whole bunch of other stuff in there. I'm not sure. I think that's about your guild. We're all learning together right now. Uh, and then we got a Soldier Lifelink token just chilling on top here. We were going to open this in just a second. I guess that's our promo, though. And then what comes inside of here, who knows? They are doing things different, huh? How about that? Guilds of Ravnica, baby. Let's creep up inside. I think I'm most pumped for um, Golgari, to be honest. I think that's I think that's who I'm liking so far. It looks powerful. Boros looks pretty powerful too. Uh, Lasnia looks pretty decent. Uh, honestly, the guilds are all looking pretty solid. I wonder if there's any sleepers. Some cards we all overlooked, probably. We Dragonauts Quasi Duplicate. So if this was my guild, uh, was Golgari in this one, we're not off to a good start. <laughs> not with that guy, at least. Uh, anything else up in here? Let's see. No, we would, we'd be off to a really bad start. So far, so not good. Um, well, no, Quasi's all right. Quasi okay. But because we're black and green, I don't know. I just don't know. At least we have a mood mark painter. There's that. I like the artwork on this. Probably not my favorite from the set, but dang, it's pretty cool. Artful takedown is pretty slick. Oh, that looks bold. Devious cover up. Where's all Lucha? Necrotic wound. All right. Silent dart. Glow spore shaman. Legion war boss. Solid little pool though. But unfortunately, it is not matching our guild colors at all. That could be a problem. What do you guys think of this? How they're doing it now? Do you think it was a mistake? Do you think it was a mistake how they went about this? Generous Stray? Um, with doing the, these uh, guild kits. True Fire Captain, cool. I want to get the foils of all these uh, duplicate ones here. I always say that, and I never go and get the actual cards. Goofy like that. Venerated Loxodon. So, so far, we, for doing Golgari, we're not doing too hot. Uh, Vigor Spore Worm. There you go. At least not to match our guild. And then we get the Dimmer Guild Gate. The Dimmer Guild Gate. Go figure, huh? Um, there's our foil pile up there. Elf Knight token. I wonder if any tokens are going to be worth anything. You think? Do we think any of the Tokis are going to be worth something? That is the question. Probably not. 
But every now and then, some of these tokens surprise. I like that and foiled. That looks pretty cool. And also, yeah, don't forget, check out... Uh, there's going to be a video at the end of this. Uh, it's a message to the community that I put together and how the community is basically destroying Magic the Gathering. Yeah, yeah, you might want to check that one out. Um, I think I make some darn good points in it and address some of the uh, situations going on in, uh, in the community. Chromatic Lantern! Yes! Now that would definitely be a solid pool. Uh, something you would want. And followed up by the Golgari Guildgate. So that was really good to us. Oh, if only we got the Vraska. That's the first time I pulled the emblem, though. It's pretty neato. I'll take it. So the Chromatic Lantern um, really is what aided this, along with that Guild Gate. So that's a, a double plus for me. For darn sure. Open up. Mr. Moss, you are struggling today. I sure am. I sure am. Come on, what else? Boris Lockett. Notion Rain, Price of Fame. So that's good. We got some removal. That's a, that's a really good card you want to get when you're doing these. Rampaging Monument. And a Nullhide Ferox. Nice. All right. That would have helped a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And a Dimer Guildgate. So this would have been not a terrible. I wouldn't say it would be terrible. What's inside here, though? I have no idea. So you get this little booklet. All right. Probably like a how to construct one of these guys, I would assume. For those of you who are unaware, real quick, uh, you only get 40 cards when you're doing uh, one of these pre-release decks. 15 to 18 creatures are recommended, 5 to 8 other spells, 17 lands they recommend. That is the recommendation. For anyone who's never played in a pre-release, I do recommend you go out to your LGS uh, this weekend and participate. It, it is a lot of fun to play in these events. What are we getting here? Hatchery Spider. So that is our foil uh, promo. Followed by the Golgari Guild Gate. All right, all right. Uh, foil pile, there we go. A Swarm Guild Mage. Legit. Grappling, uh, grappling Sundew. This is all new to me, how they're doing this. I think it's new to a lot of you, too. I, I know they did it a while ago, um, but it's it's been some time, and I just completely forget. Undercity. Iron Shell Beetle. Burglar Rat. The old wild Saratok. It's cool, though. That I, I, I kind of think it's neat they do this. I'm not sure if they give all the exact same cards. Maybe just the promo's different. I, I'm, I don't know. Is there going to be a rare at the end of this? I don't know. I think that'd be neat if there was. Or we just stuck with that one. And go Gary Gilke. Okay, so you just get that one. That's it. You just get the one foil promo uh, that goes with your guild. And that would be it. Okay. Okay. This is new to me. We're learning as we go. On to Boros. On to Boros. I like this spin down, though. It's really neat. Hopefully Boros does us justice here. Can we get the Illyria? Am I saying that right? Illyria? Illyria? Are you from Illyria? I don't know. We shall see. Whoosh. Baby, baby. Oh, hot darn. Flipping her upside down. Swing. Let this collapse over here. Scoosh. Without looking at it. Oh, and there's arena codes in here, too. Let's spin up this little spin down. Four. Sixteen. Man, never get it right. Fight the power. I like that. It's pretty cool. All right. What's this arena code about here, eh? Learn more about the new Magic Digital game. Ooh, uh, ooh la la. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Don't worry. That'll already be spent before you even see this. <laughs> so that's cool. You get a little uh, arena promo code to redeem. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. So, Boros, let's see what you're packing. Hopefully something sweet. We got the Necrotic Wound. The Root. Oh, oh, I love you, baby. I'm going to make a really nasty deck with you. Trust me. We're going to get into that. Ooh, this is good. Deafening uh, Clarion to start things off. That would be good to go with it. And a Crawl Harpooner. Sweet. So already we are looking better with Boros right now. At least it's it's working to our advantage with, with uh, the rare slot there. Can we keep it going? Beam Splitter Mage. All right. Harpooner again. 
Sundu Legion War Boss. Nice. This would have been, so far, it's looking, let me get the token with it. A really, really good uh, Boros opening so far. So far, so good. I mean, what more could you ask for here? Well, a couple things. Like Illyria. That'd be nuts. Justice Strike. Wow. I wish. Ritual of Soot. Okay, so we got a little weak there, but that's okay. If we're going strictly for uh, the Boros colors, which we should be. If we open one of these kits, that's who we chose. Yeah, this would have been a really, really good one for Boros. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! We we, we would have we, we wow we would wow we would have destroyed the entire tournament with this uh, wow with this one. This is nutty. We would have just crunked it. Game over. Shake hands. Good game. Out the door. Give me my prize packs. I'm leaving here. Yeah, we would have won it real freaking easily. Wow. Whispering Snitch. Playcrafter, good for the battle. Dream Eater. Yeah, and a Boros Gilgate, nice. So yeah, this one would have been really, really solid. All right, let's see what's up inside here. Bam, Legion War Boss. Wow, we would have had two of them. Oh man, we would have annihilated this tournament. I'm just saying. We would have annihilated the pre-release. So Legion War Boss, uh, along with Charms, Rock Charger. Wow. Definitely taking him to Pound Town, guys. For sure. Yeah, this would have been really good. Phenomenal. All right, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, also, we opened a booster box. Don't forget to check that out as well. I already opened up a booster box of uh, Guilds of Ravnica. So go back and check out that other video um, talking about me addressing the community. As always, PLA.